So, I mentioned the other night to uh, What the Forge, um, Adam, uh, if there was any interest in a uh, used oil burner for the Forge. So I did some uh, mental math, uh, looking around also, and uh, came up with the idea that uh, used oil has a BTU value of approximately, you know, 140% of a gallon of gasoline. One gallon of, uh, you know, spent oil can be up to 140% uh, more BTU than gas. Um, now, propane, which is everybody's choosing, clean burning fuel, is only good for about 73% of the BTU output of gasoline. So, you know, and for me, I don't know about you, but propane is kind of expensive for me to purchase. If you have a, you know, 100 gallon tanks or whatever, it runs about, you know, five to six dollars a gallon. If it's the smaller tanks, you're talking about nine to ten dollars a gallon almost. It's crazy how expensive it is. Where diesel is about four bucks, four thirty, something like that. Uh, now, mentioning diesel, diesel fuel is good for about 113 percent of what a gallon of gas is. So, propane, 73 percent. Diesel, 113 uh, percent. The thicker used oil can be up to 140 percent more. So what that means is you can either get your forge a lot hotter, or you can turn down the fuel and burn it a little bit longer. However, that works. The heat output for oil is going to be quite a bit more than propane as well. So let me uh, kind of draw a little picture of what we're talking about. By the way, this is not my design. This is a very old design that I've seen used in. Uh, asphalt trucks where they heat up the, the tar. Um, I've seen them elsewhere and there's also some guys on YouTube that have used this and adjusted it to make iron foundries, usual iron foundries. So what I'm doing is I'm using that same age-old tried true design and I'm shrinking it down um, because most of our forges don't require a three inch jet burner in it. So I'm going to reduce that down considerably. Um, and we'll see what happens. So, hope you enjoy. I hope you guys can see this. I don't know, let me move this back a little bit. So, here's a little picture. Well, I said, once again, this is not my design. I'm just taking something and modifying it a little bit. But, in a nutshell, we have a piece of pipe. You know, I'm thinking right now, estimate about two inch in diameter. Uh, I would like to find some like stainless steel exhaust pipe for a car, I think that would be ideal in my opinion. On the side here, we have a one to an inch and a half piece of pipe that's going to basically intersect in at about a 30 to 40 degree angle here and be welded in. Okay, That is solely going to be for air input from a blower. This guy right here, that's all that is, air inlet. Inside the pipe, we have three tubes, three pieces of a uh, quarter inch brake line for a car. Number one is going to be coming out here. This is going to be your propane line. We're going to put just a standard orifice in here, which will be a brass nozzle and probably a 1 16th drill bit size hole into that. This will go out to your LP tank. That way, you start to stay up if running on propane until it gets hot. After it gets, you can either use propane to forge with, or if you want to go ahead and use, use oil, after it gets up to temperature, you start to turn on your oil. And what's going to happen here? You have an air compressor, a small one, it doesn't have to be that large. The air compressor is going to go up to a little valve, which I don't have shown here, but there's a valve here. The valve is going to cut the airflow going down into this, down to very small volumes. Right here, this is something called a siphon. Um, they make siphons for a lot of different pieces of equipment, but oil burners and like uh, no, oil burners, um, oil burning water heaters, uh, use them. Also, another place to get a siphon is for a uh, pressure washer. Pressure washers have one of these in there that actually siphons soap out of a bottle and injects it into the water. So I'm going to look at all of those and see which one I can get that works the best. I'm probably going to get one that's designed already for oil burning. I don't believe these are that expensive. So, coming out of the middle of this, we're going to be taking this siphon tube, which is also a quarter inch brake line, down into your oil reservoir. Just note, since we're using a siphon, this does not have to have a pump. So it simplifies it a little bit. Now, I'm planning on using diesel. Because it's clean, 
I don't have to worry about getting water out of it, etc. But you could use, you know, vegetable oil. You can use probably motor oil, diesel fuel, uh, whatever oil you can get a hold of. As long as you filter it, you should be able to use it. But please note, if you're doing knobs in this, whatever impurities are in your oil can be in part their effects on the metal of your blade. Diesel fuel, you're probably okay because it's like one one part per million or less sulfur in it. It's low sulfur, so it should be very few impurities. If you're real picky about it, you can use kerosene, which has even less. So anyway, you fire this thing up on LP, you get your forge up to a thousand degrees thereabouts. If you want to switch over to oil, you slowly turn on your needle valve, it starts injecting oil into the orifice, it atomizes. Atomized oil goes in, it ignites due to the high temperature that's already in your forge. So, you want to get a neutral, I think we can actually probably get a neutral chamber with this too, meaning a lot of less oxygen. So we can turn up this fuel up to the point where there's no extra oxygen inside the chamber, which means less oxidation, less scale. Um, have to be careful because I was mentioning to the other night you could turn this up to the point where you start to soot things up, which we don't want. We don't want to soot things up, but at the same time we want to have that no oxygen environment, which I think we could darn near get with that. You can get it with propane too. It's harder. A little bit more wasteful, and you don't want propane around in your shop. But uh, you can do it, I think. But uh, vary the airflow, vary the oil injection. I think it's a great idea. So uh, I'm going to try to build one of these. It's going to take me a while. Uh, I could probably build this in a week if I had all the parts, but I have other things to do. I have work, and I don't have all the components. I'm going to start looking around for the pieces and parts. If any of you guys have some ideas that I could use, let me know. The air compressor doesn't have to be some big thing. I'm, I'm actually imagining that one of the little small portable air compressors for uh, um, air brushes would probably work with this. I'm not pretty sure. So it's nothing that major. So anyway, let me know your comments below. Um, if I get it built, I'll, I'll let you all know everything it took to build the thing. If you want to copy the design, please do. I'm already copying it off someone else. Uh, please give some love into what the Forge, uh, Island Forge, uh, New Penny Forge, Curiosity Forge, County Line Forge. Um, I know I'm missing some of you guys. I'm sorry, but, you know, guys, everybody's been great. So, you know, spread the love around. Peace. Have a great day.